three, two, one. No way. That is correct. I just want to go up with you all night long. Hey, everybody. It's Josh over here. Fry's over in the corner. Say hi, Fry. Hi, Fry. Hi, Fry. And then, uh, of course, we are joined by a guest, a uh, guest, a uh, longtime part of the Popcorn and Beers podcast. Jordan's here. Hello. Yeah. He guessed for a long time. <laughs> we're going to uh we're going to do something a little bit different. We're gonna get angry, we're gonna argue about some stuff. And I'm gonna tell Fry to take it away with a new format for this episode. So we are doing a March Madness style bracket breakdown of fast food worldwide and within the United States. We're not gonna have any regional competitors. So if you're a Whataburger versus In N Out person, this won't be your show. We're only doing big huge chains. Okay, because the thing is, we know those regional places would have knocked out all the fast food contenders right away. So you can't have an in and out versus a checkers. All right. That's just not fair. So that's going to be for another day. Stay tuned and listen. Today, we have all of our fast food restaurants rated one through 16. If you disagree, send us a note and we'll disregard it because we're good. (laughs) But we'll listen. Kind of. First up in today's. March Madness style bracket is the scoring system. We're going to rate these restaurants on history, menu, and impact. And of course, included in that menu option is going to be taste. So don't Mm. forget about the taste when you're talking about the menu. But when we say impact, we're talking about cultural impact. What kind of impact has this made on the world around us? And that should give you an idea as to why we have seated some of these restaurants the way we have seated them. And then, of course, their history. What is their history to you? Where do they bring you back to? What's your nostalgia with these restaurants? Do you have any? Because if you don't have any, they're going to be rated lower in that category for you as an individual. See. So let's get this kicked off with our one seed, Mickey D's. McDonald's is our one seed against A&W, All-American Fast Food. Josh, you already have an opinion. Let's go. Go ahead. Lead us off. Well, I wanted to like just hit it hard with like being the, the jerk who's like, well, of course McDonald's loses everything. But um, we got a lot to talk about here, man. I mean, McDonald's has a solid clinch just because of breakfast. That's all there is to it. Some would say just because of their fries. I think their fries are trash. But if you want to have fries, oh, also they like destroy uh, ecosystems. But anyway, uh, A&W is not a good contender here. Um, the, the burgers are not too bad. They got the little charcoal taste, a la maybe a Burger King. But what they do is like A&W is a root beer. Right. And so they want to make the old timey root beer. They put more syrup in the soda. So it tastes like not good. I'm a big time root beer guy, but they like because it's A&W, they add just a little more syrup at the fountain. It's not good. It's too much. What was that? Anyway, loud bang. Yeah. Um, I say uh, I think fries frozen. I say yeah. uh, McDonald's takes the, the lead here just because of breakfast. And the uh, consistency, and they got the good Coca-Cola. Uh, McDonald's, uh, hardcore. I mean, that's just all there is to it. A&W is not even close. Um, so A&W, you know, obviously great root beer float if you want to get one. But I don't think I've actually ever tried their food. I only have one nearby me. It's known for being a place where teenagers work. And I've just heard some horror stories of some of the things that they mm. do. And working there, so I would never, never, never eat there, at not at the one that's near me, at least. Yeah. I would give it a shot if I ran into one somewhere else, of okay. course. You are unequivocally wrong about McDonald's fries not being good. I'm sorry. They are, I don't want to say the best, maybe, but they are fantastic. There's nothing like, there's nothing that tastes like McDonald's fries. You can't get that taste anywhere else. It's That's true. incomparable. It's incomparable to any days. You know a McDonald's fry when you eat a McDonald's fry. Yeah, it's very distinct. I, I agree with that. And that's that's why I was talking about ecosystems because it's so distinct. They have a very rigorous make sure every potato is exactly the same kind of thing, which is not good for mm-hmm. the environment. But anyway, that's not the point. Fair, yeah. The point is they Fair. do taste very distinct, always the same, always good. I They're not bad. They're not bad at all. But I think so many restaurants are just better. Yeah. I, I don't love a big 
I don't love, you know, this, let's talk about Signature. I don't love a Big Mac, to be honest. I never understood the concept of just another piece of bread in the middle of your sandwich. It's not even a full piece of bread. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I never understood it. And the Mac sauce also just, it's, you know, we're, we're going to try to leave out regional things, but as far as, you know, it's basically, uh, in and out sauce to me, California being the regional thing, but not as good. Not as in and out sauce is just better. So, uh, that's the way I compare it to breakfast. I'm not a big fast food breakfast guy, but let me tell you something. I recently discovered a, um, uh, you know, long lost love is the McGriddle. Oof, I love me a McGriddle. Super it's good, me. but will also just derails your morning. Like you are not ready to be productive after you eat a McGriddle. <laughs> You're ready to go back to sleep. Yeah. Nah, made yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the breakfast is a clincher. The fries are good. Hey, with fries back, welcome. Uh, Sorry, so fry, we discussed that the, the fries are distinct. Whether or not I like them, they are one of a kind. A and W doesn't have a breakfast. They have hot dogs, though. I guess that's cool. Uh, I think we're pretty solid in saying McDonald's is the killer, unless you got something to say here, yeah, Brian. It's McDonald's Sprite. Also, let me just throw that in there. There's nothing Ooh, like a McDonald's that's Sprite. That's a hangover cure right there, dude. <laughs> that's a spicy Sprite right there. That's a spicy Sprite. Uh, yeah. No, I, I think McDonald's is the obvious winner here. But also, have you guys heard the story about the quarter pounder and how it eliminated the uh, A and W three quarter pounder? No. no, like, yeah, or, or maybe no, no. A and W had a half pounder, I think, is what it was, like the half pound burger, and huh. McDonald's had a quarter pounder. And Americans are so stupid, they didn't realize for because the numbers looked smaller for the half pounder, and oh. the half pounder was actually bigger. So people were buying the quarter pounder, and A and W's whole marketing scheme to compete with McDonald's went down the tubes because Americans were too dumb to realize that the half pounder was bigger. <laughs> Than the quarter Man, pounder. It's such a classic mistake. Like, there's yeah. nothing you can do about it. People are just no. dumb. People are yeah. going to keep buying Taylor Swift <laughs> albums. There's nothing you can do. Don't you ever hate on Taylor Swift ever yeah. again, as long as I'm on this show. Taylor Swift is a superstar, and I will live I like forever Taylor. saying that. I like Taylor. <laughs> She's good. Uh, I, I'm a pr loud and proud member of the Swifties. But yeah, McDonald's wins. Plus, Ronald, the impact that his, he's made, he created the Hamburglar, Grimace. Like, these characters exist because Ronald walked so they could run. And the toys, like, when you think of going through and getting a Happy Meal toy, yeah, a Happy yeah. Meal is McDonald's. But what do you say when you go through any other fast food? Can I get a Happy Meal? That's not what they call it anywhere else. That's a yeah. McDonald's thing That's that true. we have just taken. It's like saying, oh, Google it. No, you're not actually Googling it. We mean web search it. But we say mm. Google it. McDonald's has changed the way we speak. It's and true. that is why... McDonald's is a one seat. I mean, mm. people have birthday parties at McDonald's because we were broke <laughs> <laughs> and they had a play palace. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, so yeah, McDonald's wins every time. I do love that bear mascot from a and W and I am so sorry, a and W that you are going to bite the dust in round one, but McDonald's moves on. Yeah. Now, your soda's trash. a and W shut up. Sorry, A&W. I've got the best McDonald's story if I could just quickly yeah. breeze through it. Okay, yeah. so play, McDonald's, I bashed my head in at a McDonald's when I was like five, six oh years old. Gosh. You can see that this big I, old scar on the back of my head. Yeah. So, yeah, sure. so they uh, the floor was greasy. I slipped, smacked my head on the bar surrounding the play place before they had uh, styrofoam wrapping around them. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents... Couldn't, for some reason or not, a lawyer told them that they didn't have a case to pursue uh, an injury claim there. Turns out, like, maybe six months to a year later, an, it happened to another kid, and they sued, won, like, millions and millions and millions of dollars, and that is the reason why they have the wrappings around the bars now. So, that's my life. Wow, dude. <laughs> Aunt, Auntie Kim, you got a badass lawyer. That lawyer sucked. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, what's next? So now let's slide all the way down to the bottom of this bracket and let's pull up the number two seed, Burger King, against the number 15 seed, Burger Fi. Burger Fi. Everybody take out your phones and Google Burger Fi. <laughs> as soon as... You're right. I've never heard of this one. <laughs> as soon Burger as you Fi. Google Burger Fi, you will realize you have seen it at gas stations around the world where you were on road trips. You have seen it all over, the uh, like by Checkers Chicken and all of that stuff. 
<laughs> Never heard of it. Never heard of it. We got Burger one Fi. Burger okay. Fi, like Wi Fi, but Burger Fi. Looks very good. Okay. <laughs> it looks All very right. good. They even brand their burgers. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Well, just based on the uh, pictures alone, I'm pretty sure Burger Fi is better. <laughs> <laughs> um, Burger I King? Think, I think Burger King actually has better fries than McDonald's. So that's just personal preference, I suppose. They're good fries. They do. They're good fries. And I, I love their uh, just the chicken sandwich, the long boy. Put some cheese oh, on that yeah. thing. That's one of yeah. my favorite things, honestly. Bro. The rodeo burger's okay. I don't think they match up to anyone, but there's no particular reason why. They're just like... All right, we got Burger King. Fine, you know. <laughs> okay. The Whopper is better. Right. Or wait, the, yeah, the Whopper. The Whopper is better than the Big Mac, but I don't really care. You still gonna get a Big Mac? <laughs> no, it's just like it's just like I I I I, I'm ne I never feel like I won the prize when I go to Burger King. It's just like okay, we're here. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm getting some chicken fries. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, the chicken fries when those came out, it was a moment. It was a big moment. They've kind of lost their. They're not as good anymore for mm -hmm. some reason or another. Money, because that's what capitalism does. Yeah, to products. <laughs> uh, have you ever looked a really closely examined the bottom side of a Burger King hamburger patty? No. It's it's pretty scary. It looks very strange. There are these weird little suction cuppy. It looks like a squid oh, tentacle. Yes. I'm not even kidding yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And I don't know why. I don't care to know why. Uh, one time I got a burger and it had those little squigglies, which was off putting, but it wasn't like, I'm not going to eat this yet. But they were mm. like, they had some discoloration on it. And that kind of ruined Burger King for me for pretty much ever. But recently I tried a Burger King burger just out of like, this is my only option right now. It's and, my only option. Yep. <laughs> and it honestly wasn't bad. I was like, but you know, I, I had to very closely examine my food before I ate it. It wasn't bad. Uh, it's funny. I had my uh, my goddaughter in the car with me driving. We drove by Burger King. We said, "What do you, you want to eat?" There was, you know, In and Out nearby, McDonald's, all this. There's Burger King, and she's like, "I want Burger King. That's what my parents get me." And we're like, "Well, we don't think your parents like you all that much." So <laughs> and we do. So we're not going to give you that. It's the yeah. motto. It's not yeah, here what's bro. open. We're that's like, I'm one sorry. One of our scoring metrics, guys, is impact. That little kid saw that. That's a that's a cultural impact. They were like Burger King. Like that says something. But that's we were true. like, you, we started off with you can have whatever you want in this big shopping center. There's pretty much anything, and we're like, well, actually, you can't have that because we don't want <laughs> that's that. Not what you chose. <laughs> and we like you, and we're not going to feed you that because we like you. <laughs> Right. Uh, Your parents don't do they know do they listen to the show? Her, their parents probably not, no. Oh man, you're lucky. <laughs> no, it's fine. We've told them this story. <laughs> so, um, Your parents don't like you. Yeah, if they feed you that, they don't like you that much. We're we're looking out for you in your best interest. Um, but I've never even tried burger uh, burger fi, so I have to by default go with Burger King, I guess. Yeah, me okay. too, I guess. You too. Wow, that was so fast. I'm going to tell you right now, Burger Fies Burgers, they're better. Yeah. They're I, better burgers. Judging by the I'm pictures sure. alone, they look great. Yeah. And they got loaded Yeah, it looks fries, good. Like... But here's the thing, guys. The menu at Burger King is simply better. There's more options. Mm. You, you have mm. more things to choose from. Also, do you guys remember, like, the Burger King kids? Like, yes. The, mm -hmm. the, the, Kid that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> They had a whole thing going on. They had a VHS series with the Burger King kids for a while. It's true. Okay. It's true. They so, had some good marketing stuff. You know, the King is a cool mascot. The, they yeah. had the flash, flash spicy ketchup and purple ketchup. And weren't they you know? doing the TikTok thing before TikTok like was like huge. They were doing the, t -t 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 -t, that commercial with the King dancing and doing mm. the TikTok dance. He was like, t -t 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 -t. I don't know, but it was like vine. I love yeah. the King commercials. They were so yeah. good. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like that's cultural impact, guys. Like that matters. Right. History. Burger King's a part of our zeitgeist, whether you like it or not. And they've been a part of our zeitgeist for a long time. Like Burger yeah, King yeah. has been around. We're oh, the around commercials are fantastic too. I love yeah. Whopper, 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 <laughs> Junior Whopper. Yeah, love it. Great. And then Josh mentioned the rodeo burger. Man, I'm not gonna lie. When I was broke and didn't have any money, that rodeo burger was a dollar. 
That was a dollar. And I can go get some onion rings with some barbecue mm-hmm. sauce and a hamburger. Mm. Best onion six, rings. 16 cents. Good onion cheese. rings, good nuggets. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it, man. That's all we could afford, and that's what we ate, and I, I felt good about it. So yep. Burger King with the win there. Yep. All right, any disagreements? Mute. All right. All right, now we're getting into the nitty-gritty. We have an eight seed and a nine seed, and lots of people have argued these two should be higher. All right, the eight seed is Steak and Shake. The nine seed is Checkers and Rallies, or Checkers slash Rallies. Same restaurant. Josh. Oh, me? Uh, I've only driven by Checkers. Steak and Shake's great. Not a big fan of shoestring fries. They're they're all right. They do their job. But Steak and Mm -hmm. Shake is a great... Great establishment. Okay. Solid. It's a good road trip establishment. That's the one where like, you... you never really go there unless you're on the road. <laughs> All right. Th- you know, that's fair. D- do you have a story? Anything? Like, give me some Give me some menu, some impact, some history. Um, I don't really have a lot. But like I said, it's only on the road. So usually I've been to the one in, um, uh, w- w- what's the... Well, I don't know that one. <laughs> I don't know what that it's in, one is. <laughs> it's in in Missouri. What Wichita? Missouri. I've been to the the <laughs> Steak and Shake in Wichita many, 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 many <laughs> times, and okay. it's it's pretty good. It's solid. I I get disappointed by the fries, but Every it's good time. steak and it's great shake. And a shake oh. is a big part of the menu if you got a good shake. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So here's my thing. Jordan, we're going to go to you last. Checkers and Rallies have a really good burger. It's not better than Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake has a better burger, but what I th- I think it can at least compete with Steak and Shake, but the Checkers Rallies fries, they have like a Cajun fry, and it mm. is so good. It's one of the better fries that exists. So I'm going to go Checkers just because that the impact of that fry has thrust it into when you get those uh, Twitter or X polls of like who has the best fries they're on there because mm. they're amazing fries they're Asian some of the fries best fries you can get so i'm gonna go ahead and go you know what checkers and rallies above steak and shake go ahead jordan all right so i have never eaten at either of these oh gosh <laughs> but i'm gonna just base it on this all right if the two were across the street i've heard of both of these ex- uh, extensively uh, they're, you know, Midwest, East Coast things, whatever. Uh, I've actually been by a Checkers, and I've chosen things that are n- around it instead. Like, I've driven by, like, oh, there's Checkers, I could try that, but oh, there's this over here, let me try that. And I chose other <laughs> things over it. If the okay. two were across the street from each other, I would probably choose Steak and Shake from just oh, what no, I've, from word of mouth that I've heard <laughs> over it, about it. Um, yeah. And it's name word of mouth. Is such a good okay. advertising, like Steak and Shake. You don't have to worry about nothing. You're getting steak That's and what shake. That's what we do here. <laughs> yeah. We do a steak and we do a shake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's move on then to our number seven and our number 10 seeds. Our number seven seed is going to be Carl's Jr. Our number 10 seed is Freddy's <sighs> Steak, Burgers, and Frozen Custard. Holy. This one's a little tougher, I think. Don't you think? Fry, you go first this time. So here's the thing, man. I've I think Carl's Jr., whether people want to admit or not, have some of the best burgers around. Like, if you just need a fast food burger, like a, just a fast food burger, Carl's Jr. has one of the best fast food burgers, as far as what we're debating here, out of any of these national, regional changes, and that includes Hardee's, right? It's just, they make good hamburgers, and they had a great marketing campaign. They had such a good marketing campaign, they can't do it anymore with Paris Hilton. It got taken off TV after the Super Bowl. Too because erotic. the Christians... The Christians were like, no, Paris Hilton eating burgers on cars. We yeah. have children. Okay. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but Carl's Jr. has done that for years. Like, the big bite of the big burger and the sauce dripping off the face. Then they have the chicken stars instead of the chicken nuggets. The right? best. The best. <laughs> the that was your th- best. Yes, that's been your thing since you were, like, three years old. <laughs> they are so good. They're the best. And I haven't I haven't had them, I feel like, since I was three years old, to be honest. And I'll get into that, but go ahead. Now, I will tell you this. Freddy's Steak and Shake now. Freddy's Steak and Shake makes a great burger, but they don't have a ton of variety. It's just a steak burger. You go one, two, or three patties, and their frozen custard is off the wall. But purely... 
because they don't have a ton of choices. And the menu, the menu in the history of Carl's Jr. here. Carl Jr. used to do fried zucchini. They used to do mm -hmm. fried zucchini Very on their good. menu. Very good. Mm -hmm. I got to go with Carl's Jr. here, guys. I got to go with Carl's Jr. Jordan. Right. Yeah, uh, Carl's Jr. chicken stars. It's just Carl's Jr. has just always been the just slightly out of my price range option for, you know, growing up for, <laughs> for fast really food. Yeah, yeah, for fast food. And so, you know, when I got a little bit of my own money, I started to eat there a little more. And I was like, it's good. But just the price difference is still doesn't warrant it enough for me to choose it over a, a McDonald's or, you know, even just mm -hmm. if I'm going to spend that much, I might as well go to like a restaurant and get it like a real a burger at a restaurant. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not a fast food one. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna spend this much. But, <laughs> I'm, gonna sit, I'm gonna sit my ass down. Yeah. And I'm gonna have a burger. <laughs> uh, they got a fantastic double Western burger with with barbecue sauce and onion rings on it. I love that. That's always good, and it's it's fairly cheap. They always have a good deal running on that. They had some great chili cheese fries for a while. I don't mm. know if they still do, but they were the best, better than Wiener Schnitzel, which I I hope is on this list somewhere. That's hot dogs, bro. <laughs> it's not. It's going to be on our miscellaneous list. It's going to be oh, on our miscellaneous list. Schnitzel's we, we good, though. I love schnitzel. List. I love yeah. me some schnitzel. <laughs> we, we do. It's our fourth bracket is a miscellaneous bracket. It okay. will be on there. All right. Um, <laughs> I did actually have on a trip recently that I went to the uh, East Coast. I had um, Freddy's. Mm -hmm. in, actually, no. It was in Nashville, Tennessee, right by mm -hmm. Dollywood. And it was fantastic. It was great. It was good. Their burger was great. The custard shake was fantastic, but I did not like their little shoestring fries at <laughs> all. Go. I thought they were awful. I'm but I never had like I never had a smash burger kind of. That's what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a steak smash down, and they do like they'll do up to three patties for you. Yeah, I I never had anything like that. I thought it was great. I want more of it, but the fries are a no. So Carl's Jr. It is. CJ's. That's Dang. two to two. I don't know Junior. what your Josh is going to do, but it's already lost. Josh, well, give um, us yours, though. Uh, Carl's Jr., as, as some people might know, depending on where you're at in the country, is also Hardee's. Same mm -hmm. same company, same logo. They're, they're lazy. But uh, uh, that's honestly what I thought Freddy's was with Steak and Shake. I thought they're pretty much the same place. You know, um, <laughs> in that regard, yeah, Freddy's is good. You're gonna get a good burger, shoestring fries, not for me. Get a little uh get a little custard something. That's fine, but Carl's Jr., like you said, has always been a little bit like low key dope, man. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. great. And you remember, um, was it Paris Hilton's campaign that was advertising the six dollar burger? Yeah. Can you $6. can you imagine? Paying only six dollars for a good burger nowadays. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, right. Yeah, that was oh, their whole man. concept. Was like you were saying, Jordan. It's a little pricier, but it's really good. So you're mm -hmm. gonna get like a six dollar burger, like you would have in a restaurant. That was their whole thing. Um, the patties are big. Carl's Jr.'s you got patties big old are big. Fat boy patties. You got the charcoal yeah. flavoring. Uh, good ingredients. They got. Uh, didn't they have like breaded jalapenos on one of them or something? Yes. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> It's great. They're doing breakfast. They got biscuits and gravy. That's on point. Carl's <laughs> Jr. is like a sleeper murderer, dude. I love Carl's yeah. Jr. Yeah. All right. Carl's Jr. for the win. All right, guys. We're on to our 5 and 12 seed. For 5 seed, we've got five guys. International five guys up against the 12 seed Dairy Queen. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Factor in the menu here, guys. Got a well, factor in um, the menu. Talking about some history, I I did six months in Iraq, and in Iraq we have we have a little bit of fat. We have like a Pizza Hut there. You can get a pizza if you wanted. A few little things, but really not much. You're eating chow hall most of the time for six months, and then I got to have like a week in Al Ud where it's just like processing before we get to go home. And yeah. I ate Dairy Queen by the pool every day. <laughs> man, oh man, every day. Yeah got a blizzard like because i was i was like really skinny and like i'm sitting by the pool feeling good i got a blizzard now i got all these i got a burger and some chicken tendies dude like get in there i love it now talking about some five guys five guys is good it was overhyped to me someone talked about five guys long before i had it but in colorado springs which is the city that gets every franchise it wants five guys eventually <laughs> showed up uh, it's a good good solid burger good fry sauce the fries are okay 
they, they they pride themselves on being like fresh cut and all this, but yeah, okay, but <laughs> okay, fine. Mm -hmm. They're okay. Five guys is my Carl's Jr. for Jordan. Like it's a little pricey for me. They have a very simple menu. It's good. You know what you're gonna get. However, Dairy Queen's got them blizzos, dog. Okay. <laughs> so a Dairy Queen. I mean, is it, it's fast food. I've never gone to Dairy Queen and been like, I'm going to get some food here. The mm. ice cream, the butcher is fantastic. Very good. Large variety. They do have a large variety menu, too. You can get like mm. a crazy number of odd things there. Um, I've yeah. only ever had chicken strips and fries, which basically tastes like chicken strips and fries from pretty much anywhere. Not really fantastic. Like you go Basically, to the, like they drop chicken in oil, drop fries yeah. in oil, and they feed right. them to you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Nothing fantastic about their food at all. Five Guys have only had a couple of times. Um, great, extremely greasy burger. Extremely yeah. messy. Not like eating your car fast food. Um, they load up the fries. They, they they load up your little fry pouch, and then yeah, they, they once do. you have your open bag, they just dump dump them in your bag. Just yeah, loose and don't bag fries. Like, don't you feel like it's kind of like the opposite of a smash? It's more like a like a ball almost. Yeah, hmm. uh, a lot of customization on your burger. You know, at Five Guys, you could say I want this, I don't want that, and it's not really extra charge. So that's a that's a plus for them. Um, yep. I'm gonna go with Five Guys. Hmm. Five Guys. So we're 1-1. One, one. So I am the tiebreaker here. Here's what I will say. I love that Five Guys owns the Waffle House style of burger. If you want it smothered and covered, baby, you can get a burger smothered and covered. Okay. They'll chop up some mushrooms, some jalapenos, some yeah. grilled onions, and they'll throw it all on you. And they'll do the burger. And here's the thing. They lose, though, to Dairy Queen in history. Dairy Queen's been forever in history. So we do that cultural impact. Dairy Queen has had enormous cultural impact. Josh was eating it in Arabia. Yeah, <laughs> that's where you is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so that just tells you there's that. And then when we match up the menus, I love a Cajun fry. You just saw me lose with my checkers Cajun fry. Their Cajun fries are bomb. But here's the downside there's too many like i i switched from a large fry to a, like a regular fry because it's just so many fries in my bag mm, yeah all right dairy queen has like jordan said it's mediocre everything except for their 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 blizzard pour yeah. that thing out and they can do anything okay. in a blizzard they're so good at blizzards that they made mcdonald's and venom mcflurry that's yeah. how good dairy queen is at blizzards is they made the our number one seed invent a whole new menu item to keep up. It's never right? available. And it's never available. Mm -hmm. So I am going to go with the 12 seed upset here, Dairy Queen, just because cultural impact, history, and menu are our scoring uh, items. And I think Dairy Queen is ahead on all three except for the burger. The burger is amazing at Five Guys. It's much better. Yeah, but it's our a other better two burger. Categories, it's just there's just more there's just more the Reese's shake though at five guys mm. wow mm. all right now uh we're gonna go ahead and lead off with you jordan and here it is we have got jack in the box Oof. is our three seed against fat burger our 14 seed mm. okay i'll start off with fat burger I had a fat burger open up in the same shopping center that I had worked in for a really long time. And I got sick of it very fast. <laughs> I'll, I'll just say, it was a good burger. It was a, it was a novelty thing. Don't they have like boneless wings too? Yes. Probably. Yeah. yeah they, were, they were pretty good. I remember liking those a lot. Um, but the burger just got a little old, a little fast. Very peppery, which I actually enjoy. They had some novelty, you know, by, you know, selling points with, oh, you come and try our super monster four patty burger. And if you eat it all, it's you get your picture on the wall or something stupid. The service was terrible. They only lasted maybe a year before they shut down because their management was awful and their staff constantly just revolted and quit on them. Uh, but, you know, it was decent. Now, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is like... Yeah, oh God, I don't want to say like a trigger here, but uh, it's just terrible. But they're just an abusive, they're an abusive partner. What? I said trigger. <laughs> that is just terrible, though. <laughs> it's terrible. It's no, no, it's good, but it's terrible. It's just you feel terrible. It's terrible for you. It's like an okay, abusive partner. 
context matters. <laughs> yeah. It's like an abusive partner that you just keep coming back to. Okay. You know, it's it's just like there's just so, a number of just crazy, insane things to get under one roof. You know, a teriyaki bowl, egg rolls, churros, tacos, uh, chicken sandwich, a pita. Midnight munchy meal with the oh. cheese sticks and the <laughs> I love it. So, so good. Everything is so good. But, God, you feel so gross eating all of it every time. You feel, I, I, I finish eating that meal and I'm like. Uh, what what decisions have led me to this place I'm in now? Uh, <laughs> Jack in the Box tacos. They had that time where they were actually people were dropping dead eating Jack in the Box tacos from I don't know. You don't remember this? Oh, I don't know. In my happened. town, people were getting some disease from contaminated. <laughs> bring them down corporately <laughs> what is no. happening <laughs> this was big news i thought i think this was big no, no, national no. news i didn't know it was the tacos i heard some some kid got killed or something i remember that yeah like, like e. the coli the or something right yeah in my, in my hometown the jack-in-the-box broke down and never saw it again because of that yeah <laughs> yeah it's a kid in my town died from it so that's just that's my history with it i'm sorry okay. it's personal yeah. history it took, a, um, it took a big hit it took a big hit uh, corporate yeah. level because of that. But when when I discovered the Jack in the Box taco, like really discovered, really appreciated it. And around, it wasn't around until like junior high. Me and my buddies would pull money together and buy like 30 of them and just yeah. Yeah, eat, man. Them, eat them, throw them at each other. Just, it was just, we loved, <laughs> we loved them. Um, <laughs> I, I vote for Jack in the Box. Jack mm. of the Box over Fat Burger. Job. Yeah. That was a lot. That's yeah, going to be mm. hard to follow. Death, Whew. trauma, and taxes. Yeah. It's just terrible. Uh, and, <laughs> death, trauma, and tacos. Pardon me. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay, just start with Fat Burger to be polite. Fat Burger is what Five Guys wants to be. It's very, very good. Five Guys is better than, or Fat Burger is better than fact, Five Guys. Fat Burger is okay. a great franchise. Jack in the Box is my favorite burger. It's my favorite yes, burger. Yes, the ultimate cheeseburger. It's, um, the ultimate cheeseburger, bro. The best, the best fast oh food gosh. burger out there. That, yeah, that jack best. cheese. Oh my goodness! And then the, the yeah. sourdough burger. Don't sleep on that. The sourdough burger. Nobody's got like that. That was one of my favorite um, things growing up. It's so good. And then now they yeah. got a breakfast sourdough breakfast sandwich. Mwah. Come on. <laughs> um, honestly, like I would, I would daydream about the ultimate cheeseburger as a child. Oh, it was so big great. in my tiny yeah. little hands when I was t like ten. Uh, Jack in the Box commercial talking about some history. The Jack in the Box campaigns yeah. have endured. Everyone Didn't loves. Did he have Jack a commercial where he's getting cheated on by his wife or something like I that think a while so. back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like they were edgy. I miss commercials. Man, I miss commercials. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I've been watching like Throwback Adult Swim, and the commercials are like, oh, like crap. Anyway, um, getting to the tacos because this is my my leading point. That dog meat with American cheese and wilted lettuce is so addicting. Yes, it's like yes. it's dog meat, but it's so good, bro. Every it's time the I drive by factor. McDonald's, even if I just ate lunch and I see a Jack in the Box, I'll drive up and get five tacos. Like I'm. It's, I'll, I'll, make it I'll make it fit um that's what she said and uh the late night menu is incredible they know their audience it's yes it's stoners man they got cheese they got uh, uh, uh egg rolls they got a great mascot they have yeah they got everything jack in the box is my number one I, i'm pulling for it no matter what all right so the the you're right the great mascot the 90s were built yes. in 2000 the antenna jack topper on the antenna topper, the antenna topper yeah all yeah. right, so yep. I don't have a lot to follow. Jack in the Box is my pick there. You guys did great. I just remember, do you guys remember those little box of tacos, the tiny taco boxes? Yeah. And mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a, those? there's a, the there's a, oh, curly you fries. Out the curly yeah. fries. The curly yeah. fries is one of Jack in the Box's best items. And Jack yes. in the Box, like, it, it's just one of the best fast food places. Jordan, go ahead. What were you going to say? Oh, well, I just feel like we're leaving out a modern mechanic of these things right now. A function is their apps. Every fast food place has an app these days. And 
Jack in the Box and McDonald's, which I did mention back then too, have two of the best fast food apps. They're just giving you free food. They're just giving oh. you a reason to come back all the time, like <laughs> passing it out. Yeah. yeah. I, I think Jordan's trying to distract me so I can't set my fi- fantasy lineup. But also, <laughs> let's move on to the next one, Jack in the Box for the win there. Next up, six versus 11. We have Smash Burger against Shake Shack. I will start here. It is easily Smash Burger. Shake Shack is uh, fine. It's good, but they do two things. Whereas Smash Burger has like 90 variations of a burger you can get. If you've ever ordered Smash Burger online, you can order like a bunch of different kinds of Smash Burger. Plus they have like, like it's like a peppercorn mayo that they put on their mm-hmm. burger. Blows your mind. Mm. So mm-hmm. smash burger for me there. Mm. Smash burger yeah. for sure, yeah. I've never had Smash Burger. I had Shake Shack um in Washington DC and it wasn't good. Mm. It wasn't good. They had Cajun fries. They had Cajun fries, they weren't good. The burger wasn't good. It was very dry. The service okay. was terrible. I did have a trolls cotton candy shake that was that was really good. It was uh huh pretty delightful <laughs> uh sad unfortunately I'm, I'm throwing these things out there and you can't try them yourself because it's like a limited time thing but it was great um but i, I imagine a shake and you did <laughs> <laughs> i imagine that smash burger is better it's, i've never had it but you know what i'm gonna say smash burger because it has to be better right. than my experience at shake shack it wasn't good respect respect yeah uh, uh shake shack's okay it's like <laughs> like freddy's little brother it's not even as good as freddy's but uh yeah. Uh, Smash Shake Burger. Shack and Smash, Smash Burger. Burger is serious, dude. We've already gone over it. The burgers are great. They're very dynamic. You can do a lot yeah. of things with them. The fries are pretty good. Uh, not mentioned usually is their vegetarian option. Their bean burger is really good. It's okay. the really black good. bean burger. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Like I go in there and consider it. Maybe I don't want a burger. Maybe I just want a bean burger. But then I'm like, I'm not gonna go to. I'm not gonna go there and not get a burger. Come on. I'm not gonna go to a smash doing... burger and not get a smash burger. Yeah. Right. So what I've been doing is going full fat boy and just putting a bean burger on my burger burger. And, oh. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's really good. I'm a big fan of vegetarian patties when they're made well, and this is there one of the go. best I've ever had. Anyway, great smash burger all day. Smash Burger for the win. Now, I saved this one for last. I think this is the most controversial, especially when you take into account the rating system of menu, impact, and history. Number four seed, Josh, you're starting this one. Number four seed, Wendy's, against number <laughs> 13 seed, Sonics. Oh, Sonics. is the title that's like... It's so well known that we make it plural. Like it's not Sonics, <laughs> but we say Sonics. Everyone does. <laughs> oh man, this is this is the toughest one. This is we're gonna have an upset like right away in the in the in the. Well, first we already round. had one. Dairy Queen threw take to beat five guys. Yeah, it's not much of an upset. This is a That's this is over two titans. This is two titans. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, Wendy's is one of the better one of the better meals like you a lot of fast foods you leave and like 10 minutes later you're like you start to think about the, your choices you've made like jordan said with burger king <laughs> um sonic does it too but uh, wendy's i feel like i ate a little fresher a little healthier but sonic's got them burgers dog and they got all the drinks i, I think... was gonna say they, don't they have like over a thousand combinations of drinks they're drinks yeah. are yeah yeah, yeah, that's the selling they're, point they're for me. Perfect for some cocktails, you know, if you want a little chase. Um, but that's not the point. Wendy's is, I think Wendy's is one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. They have the best <laughs> nuggets in the land. Yes, uh, their, fri- their fries are okay. And the they frosty. did spicy nuggets now, bro. And they yeah, have sp- spicy nuggets. Spicy oh. nuggets, dude. They have incredible <laughs> breakfast, which is relatively new. Uh, you got but me it's on like that. you got me on that because they have this. I, I pulled into a Wendy's because you were you were hyping up their breakfast and they had like a maple bacon chicken breakfast sandwich. Yeah, shut Good. up. Yeah, Good. dude. And then shut they, right they have like a like a <laughs> some kind of Swiss sauce that goes on their egg sandwich. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like their breakfast yeah. is not to be trifled with. Uh, the frosty. Everyone knows a frosty. It's worldwide known that you're supposed to put your fries in the frosty. There you go. That's disgusting to some morons, but to everyone who knows knows. Now. I, Sonic's got great burgers. I think almost equivalent. Uh, the fries are whatever. 
the desserts or whatever, I like a foot long chili cheese coney. I like a grilled cheese on top. <laughs> you know, throw a little grilled cheese on the side. Okay. Their their dessert things are not as good as a frosty, but the drinks I think I think the drinks clinch it. But if I'm just talking about me personal taste, I'm always picking Wendy's over Sonic. So I'm gonna go Wendy's. Okay. Wendy's, Jordan, you're up. Yes, I was gonna be I was gonna be upset. I was gonna walk away from this upset if Wendy's <laughs> lost this matchup, but it's not going to because it's, it's not, not going, going to, to because I will not let it <laughs> Wendy's is gonna win this one. Um Sonic is a novelty. Uh, it's again, it's Dairy Queen food. They just feed you chicken strips and fries dropped in oil. Um, besides the foot long coney, great chili cheese foot long coney is fantastic. Tater tots are good. If you want some good fast food tater tots, that's it. Uh, their drinks are definitely the big draw with the Sonic ice. Everybody loves that Sonic pellet ice. Iconic. Um, but Wendy's, man. Wendy's is a last haven with all this inflation and capitalism going on around here. It's the last piggy bag. Yes, it's the bastion <laughs> of a cheap but not discuss, not not really low quality fast food meal. It's fairly decent and you know good value. Uh, the baked double potato. stack, double stack is good. They got a baked potato. Their famous finger chili. I'm gonna bring it. I'm dragging all the skeletons out of the closet with all these places. Finger chili. Uh, <laughs> finger chili. Yeah, they're they're just great. Uh, they're stepping it up with their sauces. That's just low key under the radar. If you don't know, Ghost Pepper Ranch. They got all the you guys. You talked about Swiss sauce. Inquire about their sauces. They're they're stepping it up with uh, to compete with maybe Chick Fil A. <laughs> Who knows? What chance do you have any sauces I might peruse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, then you know, and there's the thing now. So it's, it's a debate. Yellow Wendy's. Back when Wendy's had the yellow packaging and whatnot was better than red wendy's i agree with that uh, that's just a nostalgia <laughs> thing you'll Yellow never know better. if you don't if you don't know you'll never know uh, but wendy's definitely takes this one so wendy's is right up there with jack in the box with the junior bacon cheeseburgers mm. junior bacon oh, cheeseburgers yeah. junior bacon <laughs> cheese, the, dude. yeah at jack in the box and wendy's all day junior yeah. bacon cheese it's perfect uh, ratio you guys yeah. yes and you guys took all of my stuff, the chicken sandwich, the baked potato, uh, the frosty fry. But Wendy's has stepped it up with breakfast. I, I do love a Sonic. Here's the thing with Sonic. I love being able to buy the big fat boy corn dog pack, the mini corn dog pack, where you can get like 30 mini corn dogs in a bag. And you can just drive down the road and pop 30 mini corn dogs in your yeah, mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's yeah. one of the best things ever. But Wendy's takes the cake here. Their burgers are fresh. Uh, mm -hmm. Fresh Never Frozen Beef was their slogan for a long time. It's it's just a good place to eat. Like Josh said, you don't feel too bad when you shop there. Even if you got the quadruple stack, like you don't feel terrible about yourself. When you unwrap it, yeah. you're happy you're eating it. The chicken sandwich, I remember it being like this big on the yeah. on the on the burger on the bun. So yeah, Wendy's takes the cake, guys. Yeah, and then that one, you talk about I thought like, it was going to be more competitive with the shakes and the drinks. Go ahead, Josh. Well, the drinks is a big one. That's enough to make most people say the Sonic, but I yeah. Wendy's is my stuff, dude. And like, yeah. think about the cultural impact. Like, where's the beef? Yeah, that's a forty-year-old yeah. commercial. Dave, Dave I still Dave. remember Dave. So they got Ronald McDonald, <laughs> they got the King, they got all these things. But Dave is just like some old guy. He's like, hey. Hey, I, I make pretty good burgers over here. Check it out. And that yeah. was the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and think about this. People are still dressing up like Wendy for Halloween. Like, that's yeah. still a Halloween costume that's relevant right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Sexy Wendy. Wendy for the cake. I've got these all written down, everybody. I want you guys to tune in next week because we're doing this with Mexican fast food restaurants Ooh. versus chicken fast food restaurants. We got five of each. Five of each. Five Mexican fast food, five chicken fast food, and they are battling it out. Mm, so mm, please mm. tune in next week. Josh, where can they find us? At the Gorp Show. No, it's just at Gorp Show. On X and stuff. We're on Twitter. We're on uh, Instagram. We're on X. We're on Twitter. At Gorp Show. TikTok. Love you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much. And thank you to Jordan from Popcorn and Beers. You can find him at, at Popcorn and Beer. Uh, please check us out everywhere where you find us. We are the Sad Fan Podcast Network, and we adore you. We'll see you next week. <laughs>